Hello, faculty. In order to add an image or a file to any coursework activities, announcements, or anywhere in your e-learning course that you have a text editor, it's really simple, it's easy to do, and I'm going to walk you through that. Here we are creating an assignment. I will scroll up and show you. This is a basic, a for, basic format assignment. Add images using the HTML editor um, or files. So we have the description, which we skip, and down in instructions is where we actually have all of the instructions for whatever this assignment is. Reading assignment, a coursework assignment, a file upload, a turn it in assignment, an announcement, wherever you have an HTML editor, you can do this. In the items, you will see links, you will see images, you will see insert a file. So you could do a number of different things. You could actually create a file that you insert in the middle of your readings by creating insert file or you can attach a file. So if I wanted to attach a file, I would click on attach a file, choose file, go into a class that I have in my Moxie manager, choose a file, and I would add the file. Then you see that this file has now been added to the bottom of this assignment. I could also go into the middle of my assignment, choose insert file, and go and get that exact same file. And I can add it as a link right here. Once I've added it as a link, you should highlight the link go to the edit link, insert or edit link, and choose the target to open in a new window. That way when the student clicks on it, it opens in a brand new window, not in their Wolfden window, so that it essentially would log them out of Wolfden. So that is the best practice to do that. So now we have a link is attached in the actual reading assignment and it's actually attached to the files. You do not have to use both of them, it's just an option. Um, I actually don't like to do that in the middle of an assignment, so I prefer to have it listed as below and just you can make reference in the attached PDF, etc, etc, yada yada yada, or in the attached document, etc, etc. Now how to insert an image. Adding images to your announcements, to your reading assignments, to anything that you want the students to look at adds a level of engagement and personalization in your course. So we'll do the same thing. We'll click on the insert or edit image source. We have to actually tell it where to go, right? So we're going to click on this folder. That immediately goes to our Moxie Manager. Now I've actually downloaded an image that I want to use in this, but I've not added it to my Moxie Manager. So I'm going to click on my training folder and you, you can create folders for your courses or not. It's up to you. And I'm going to go to the upload document because I need to upload this. I'm going to go to my pictures and I'm going to select the picture that I chose that I wanted to upload. And now it is checked. You can see that it's highlighted and checked and I'm going to hit insert. Um, it will tell you the dimensions of what this image is going to come in as. You can manually change this if you want to. I know 1200 by 800 is huge, so I'm just going to cut this in half. Click Constrain pri Proportions. You can give this a name, or you can actually give it a caption. A best practice in higher education is when you use an image tell where it came from. So this image may be subject to Google copyright laws. I could actually visit this website and I could copy and paste the link of where I got that information from, source from, and I could paste the website in there. Oh, I'm sorry. I want to put that actually in my caption. 
and hit OK. Now you can see that I've got a caption and I can put my source down here. I can actually change the size of that as well to make it smaller. So that way this link is actually in here and I could leave the hot link in there or I could remove the link and just have the source. Up to you, depends on how you want to do this. The other thing that's great is I can take this image that I just added and I could align it center, I could align it left, and it actually will wrap the text around the image. And I'll show you what that will look like. I'm going to save my assignment. I'm going to go in and look at this as a student. I'm going to go down to that assignment, which was in week four that I just created, that I have not finished. And I'm going to look at that. So you can now see what this looks like as a student. So this is what the student would see. And they could literally click on this and it's going to open up um, a new web page. And because I didn't specify open in a new web page, it just kicked me out of Wolf Den. So I will have to hit the back button to get back into Wolf Den. Um, so that is something that you need to make sure that you are aware of. I'm going to go back to regular view. I'm going to go back down to this assignment that I just created. It was this one. I'm going to come back in and I'm going to open up my instructions and files. And I'm going to look here and I'm going to take that and open in a new window. That way, the student won't get kicked out of Wolfden. Um, you can do this a number of different ways. Anything that you see in your WYSIWYG toolbar, you, you can explore with. the Attach a file, attach an image, insert a link from the web. If you have a website you want them to check out, so like this, I would literally just copy and paste that URL, copy it, go into my course, Please view this web page for more info. And you can literally just paste that web page. Again, click on the link, have it go into the insert link, insert or edit link, target, new window, hit OK. That way this website will open in a new window and it won't kick the student out of Wolfden. So you can use any of these tools that you would like. You can even use emoticons. Um, there's a few that you can choose if you want to add a little personality to something. Uh, I wouldn't overuse these. Um, and of course you can print the page. There's various other um, items up here you can explore. Uh, we will get more on source code at a future date. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.